What's happening, Mr. Dave here? Hey, this is the Grotto Talk today. We're gonna do some grotto talking. How to make a grotto. You know, it's uh, it's simple, but it's tricky. Uh, and uh, so I, let's just let's just talk about this. Building these swimming grottos that I've been doing for years is something that uh, are really they're really cool. They come out really nice. People love them. You can you can just hide them in the design of the pool so they don't stand out really a lot. They don't take up space in the pool if you count account for that in your design in the beginning. And so there's a lot of good attributes that go into building these things. And so let's talk a little bit about grotto construction, the kind of grottos at least that I do. So this one here we have an existing pool that's brand new. It's a new build project. And you can see the pool is out here in the background. And it looks like the pool would just come around here and, and curve across. But what they did is they dug out a little section right here. And that section is going to be able to be uh, then covered with this rebar bubbles, which they will turn into some faux rock bubbles. It'll be faux, rock, faux rocks, as it were. One on this side and one on the other side. Maybe a couple other detail rocks. On this back section over here, there's going to be steps that come up. And then there'll be a slide that goes around uh, to the right side as uh, you're riding and uh, so let's take a walk and see if I can uh, do this without uh, falling in the pool the structure is being built out of half inch steel and uh, that's to code it has to have half inch steel um, based on the engineers requirements and they have certain amounts of steel in the design too that have to be accounted for uh, the structure itself of the pool has been done and they did some stub ups of steel and I just took those and I bent them over and out and then up. So the wall of the, of the grotto won't be at the edge of the pool. It'll be out here. And that's what that bender board is for. That's going to be the backstop for concrete as they shoot from that side in to give ourselves that grotto structure shape, that, that foundation, if you will. Then here it's going to be about four feet deep, the water down there. And that'll go out into a six foot deep swimming pool. The waterfall is going to be up here probably right up here with this rebar will create a platform or a, or a pond basin that'll well up and then pitch out and go down and fall into a water course that will lead itself out towards the pool and drop in. I like to have irregular shapes but balanced so there's asymmetry in the design so it'll be one boulder right here you can kind of see the rebar up in there that's going to be bent over to make a bubble here on the other side, there's going to be another bubble over on this side, and it's going to look like another giant boulder here. We're up here in Alpine, California. A lot of rocks you can see on the distance uh, in this uh, geography, this location. So it's not unusual to have boulders uh, all around here, San Diego, California, Southern California. So it's real nice to be able to use those to build that. That is a match or a model to build our stuff. I've got my return line down in there, and that allows for water to be dumped into the grotto space and uh, <laughs> I always try to do that so that when you're uh, you have one of these you have a three-way valve that allows you to then turn the waterfall the power of the waterfall down so it can be really just blaze and saddles you know lots of water or it can be turned down to where it's more drippy and quieter uh, depends on you know what you want to do maybe having a noisy party or you want to have a more quiet party so I like to put in uh, pieces of plywood or chipboard and that allows us to walk around on the steel without tripping and killing ourselves. So we'll take a walk down here. I put a ladder on the side and then I just use a 2x14 or 2x12 to serve as sort of a plank to get over to the inside without having to draw, walk down into it. You can see the wall of the grotto right here is being built and it's in pretty good shape. All it needs is some pegboard backing and then you could shoot through and create that, that wall all the way up. Again, this is gonna be bent up and over to make the rebar bubbles as you've seen probably in some of my other videos. Same thing on this side, going all the way down into the pool basin. <coughs> We've got three or four foot extensions. Those come up and then all the way up and then those are attached to Another piece, you want two foot overlap at least with your rebar when you're adding, uh, adding steel to another piece. And it's going to continue the shape all the way up. And these are going to be bent over again 
to make a bubble. The water, of course, will be coming this way, and then it'll drop right down in the pool, right down in here. The inside of this thing is all going to have a uh, bench, bench seat all the way around. So it's going to be a place you can come in here and sit down and hang out, which is really cool. Now I'm on the inside of this other wall, you can see. And so this will be the wall again that'll tip up and over and create the... Uh, the grotto bubble shape. Um, I'm gonna be making the roof right up in this area and the waterfall will come across and dump into the pool probably about here. And so you can kind of get a sense of how that works. I bent the uh, steel that was going straight up right here and I pushed it out so that the edge of the, the grotto wall is not right on the edge of the pool because this is like a perfect half circle. And that's kind of goofy. So we don't want a we don't want a perfect half circle that looks too symmetrical. So <laughs> bent the steel out, and then and then I'm bringing my wall up from my uh, grotto, and uh, got our tie wire and we got our tape and stuff. So <laughs> nice to have a nice little ladder inside the the grotto space to climb out. That makes it a little bit a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient than having to do that from, uh, um, you know, walk all the way back the plank and then all the way up. So that's kind of a little trick, little common sense kind of thing. So anyways, uh, I got a beautiful Baja shelf I'm going to have over here, which will be really cool. I always like to have those in the swimming pools if you can get them. Uh, really nice place to hang out. So anyway, Mr. Dave here on the rock pile. A little talk about the grotto procedure that we do. If you want to learn how we do this stuff, you can go to www.davehenderson.podia.com and grab some free downloads. I've got some free PDF downloads there for you and uh, some videos. Got my book, Making Rocks. You want to grab a copy of that? Uh, 25 bucks. Going to be doing a, an audio version of that. Going to be working on that. I've been working on that. So that should be out real quick, real shortly. And you'll be able to listen and not even have to read it. You can do it like a podcast if you want. So. Anyways, hope you had a great day. Remember to be forgiving and to be grateful. Get those things dialed in. You're going to have a good life. Uh, to learn more, uh, you can go to davarhenderson.com. Got my blogs and my links to other platforms there. So, lots of stuff out there to learn about. So, anyway, hope you have a great day. God bless you guys. We're checking out grottos right now. Hope you can uh, build one in your house. <laughs> or for someone else. All right. So hey, we have a great day. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.